Thousands of Australians are on the move, flocking to holiday havens in search of a cheaper way of living. But when they get there, they discover that while the rent is cheap, jobs are few and far between. Adam Marshall has more. All these people are unemployed, looking for work on Russell Island. The figures that we're sort of hearing is, uh, you know, just over 20%. There is a, you know, quite a few people on the island that's on the dole. Are you a dole worker? Basically, yeah. It's the island paradise for the unemployed. This is a, a major problem. Cheap rent, carefree lifestyle, it's what lures residents into Australia's greatest unemployment trap. Is this stuff all to do? Welcome to Dole Island. Queensland's Russell Island is home to over 4,000 residents. It's among the southern Moreton Bay Islands, where the jobless rate tops 17%, a whopping three and a half times the national average. Love it, Russell Island, as your grandmother told me. There you know, it's cheap run over here. 33-year-old Will took his grandmother's advice, but now he's stuck. I won't work, but just... Trying to get over the mainland all the time, mate. It's just going to cost me a fortune. And he's not alone. The jobless argue without ferry concessions across to the mainland, where unemployment's a low 4%, they have no hope. Basically for five minutes to go over, it's costing you 30 bucks. Take the Mathesons. I have four children, three are on Senwick. Honestly, my goal every day is not to get out of it and get a job. We don't want to do anything. It is a place to hide, really. You're basically stuck here. Mum Liz has lived on the island for more than a decade and still the unemployed migrate. They just come over, move over, lock, stock and barrel. They don't sort of come over, test the waters, so to speak. And um, it, they just crash and burn. It's like there's nothing for them here. About 60% of the people that are on my rent roll would be uh, receive their income from Centrelink. Matthew Tignell is a local real estate agent. It's a bit of a catch-22, is that you're coming here for the cheap rent, uh, cheap lifestyle, but then uh, you've got no other means of supporting yourself. And while the average rent's attractive at only $220 per week, many rely on unemployment benefits to pay the bills. We're full. Deborah Patterson's the manager of the island's largest employer, with over 40 staff at the ITA supermarket. We have hundreds of application forms. We cannot employ any more staff at this present time, and most of these people would be on Centrelink. Oh, no work. No work. No work. So what do you do? But these islanders are far from castaways. Around the country, there are dozens of dole havens. Demographer Professor Graham Hugo. Poorer populations tend to concentrate in uh, low-cost housing areas. In tropical North Queensland, Mareeba is a welfare hotspot. Nearly 12% of locals are unemployed. In idyllic Harvey Bay, almost one in ten are seeking work. Often the low-rent areas are areas which have very, very low accessibility to employment. Uh, so it becomes very, very difficult to get work. To New South Wales, Nambucca Shire on the mid-north coast might be an ideal getaway, but 8.5% are welfare dependent. And on the southern border, the city of Albury boasts just over 8% who are job seekers, and that includes a rise of half a percent in the past year. It's only the, uh, the well-off people who have the choice of selecting which area they go to live in. As for Victoria, it fared better overall than its northern counterparts. Brimbank on the outskirts of Melbourne topped the list. The figure has climbed to 8.5%. In Greater Dandenong, the unemployment is falling, but it still has one of the highest unemployment rates in the state, with just over 8% looking for work. It's really a, a fork stick that uh, people can't afford to move to the areas where there's, where there's employment. It's hard to see what's chicken and what's egg in, the, in that situation. But for the residents of Dole Island, it's reality. They say if leaving the doll queue means giving up their island home, that that's exactly what they'll do. I'm willing to leave the island to work, so I'll start tomorrow. I want to work. I've got all my tickets. I've got everything. Give me a call.